Good Let's see what time it is. Good morning. This is Rock and Rolls coming at you on an early May sun, sunny Sunday morning. It is gorgeous out here. It's about 80 degrees. I'm saying good morning, but it's about to be noon in about two minutes or so. I just took a stop. I'm out on a ride. Had to take off my hoodie because um, it's warm. And um, I am still wearing, I don't know if you can see it, my Icon Kevlar um, top. I also actually have on my Icon Kevlar bottom. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but it's underneath my Kevlar lined um, cami pants. I guess I'm Cycle Cruiser style today. And um, I'm wearing my, what is it, Speed and Strength riding boots. Um, got the Shad top case fitted onto the Alt Rider tail not tail rack on um, rear seat rack we rolling on the Bridgestone A41's on the Honda Africa Twin 2020 1100 and um, I'm about to do a quick little video for you on the five things I love the most about this bike um, I have had it now for about no, over two months and we are at 1,095 miles um, I'm riding in urban mode which is the third most powerful um, excuse me the second highest power setting um, I got the engine braking on the I actually think it's like the third setting I don't really know how the engine braking works it might be the second highest engine braking setting you was not gonna fit through here sir and um, I got the traction control turned up to five that's five out of seven um, ABS always on I don't really turn it off and I was just toying around with the Android Auto I turned off the Android Auto I disconnected it I um, it is it, it, it it's just not consistent enough for me yet and I'm not sure if it's the Android Auto or if it's the Rockets incompetency but either way we're gonna take this quick ride I'm gonna talk about the five things I like most about the bike hopefully you're getting a good view of it on the camera right now um, like I said I got the shad top case on here I got the giant loop handlebar bag on here I have the accessorized um, higher windshield I have the hand wind deflectors I don't know what you call them and um, I did add on also the accessory the um, tank whatever the little rubber slide things are um, let's ride and if I start singing folks I'm on an incline so that was kind of risky but um, if I start singing, it's because I do have a little bit of a mixtape running in my ear. I don't know why I jumped in front of these cars. But um, I'm riding down Church Road in the gorgeous Prince George's County, Maryland. Um, you're going to get to see a nice little road on this ride. Um, I'm thinking this might take about 10 minutes. And... Um, we're going to talk about this Africa Twin. As you can see, it is a beautiful day out here. And I'm riding through some beautiful, beautiful neighborhoods. Some of the best neighborhoods in the country as far as I'm concerned. Um, more specifically, we around um, Bowie, Woodmore, that area in Maryland. And if any of you are in from the area and you're wondering. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this curve. With a name like Church Road, you know it was going to be windy, folks. So anyway. Um, these are not in any particular order, but uh, maybe they are. Um, number one, yeah, I think these are the most impressive things that are going to come out first. But number one, the engine. The most impressive thing about the 2020 Africa Twin is the engine. Let's lean, 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 uh-huh. And, um, you know, it's a 1084cc parallel twin. Um, it's 270 degree crank 
and we could do a whole other discussion on the 270 degree and par parallel twins and what that means and everything but it gives you a lot of the attitude of the v-twin um, but being and being a parallel twin it also gives you a well it's supposed to give you a little bit lower center we're not going to get to work this corner the way it could be although i don't know if i would really hit that one hard but um it's a great engine it does it does lower center of gravity now the africa twin feels top heavy anyway because um it's just a tall bike and there is a lot of um you know you got a five gallon fuel tank even on the standard and a six and a half gallon fuel tank on the adventure sport so you don't necessarily get you know to feel that really low weight like you might say on a BMW with the boxer twin or the Yamaha Tenere 700 who's parallel twin I think it might feel a little bit lower center of gravity than what you get with this Africa twin but nevertheless the engine is strong it's powerful it's not the most powerful but it's great on the highway it's great in traffic gives you you move with a lot of confidence you got to kind of get used to the throttle because the throttle can be a little touchy, especially if you actually do jump around between the different riding modes, which brings me to number two. The number two thing I like the most about the Africa Twin. I like the rider modes. I, mean, I know you hear more people bitching and complaining about rider modes than talking about what they love about them. I love the rider modes. I am in urban mode right now like i said which is the second most power i'm going to shift it and see if it worked i hit the button did it work it didn't work no yeah there it is it's, there's a delay now i'm in gravel mode just to hit the button and i would be in gravel mode right now which actually turned the abs off so i hit the button on the run on the fly and the abs turned off right now i'm in a i'm in the lowest power I've got the least amount of engine braking and my traction control is still set at five but I can change that with the buttons right now. So in this rider mode, I, right now I am in the least lowest power mode and my ABS is off. Now I'm going to hit the button again because I don't like riding around with no ABS. Now I'm in off-road. Now off-road is the second from the lowest power setting so my power cranked up a bit. Um, because of the way I have this set up at the moment, I can't see my ABS setting. Um, I'm pretty sure the ABS was defaulted to being off in this setting as well. Um, but again, I was on the fly. Let's hit the button again. What else do we have? Well, let's see, Rocket. User mode one. Now, user one, I configured it. I've got it set at the lowest power setting. I've got the engine braking set. Um, at um, two and I think it's this the second most engine braking if I remember this correctly um, the traction control again defaulted to five but my ABS is back on I like this particular setting a lot because the throttle is kind of mild and in the early the first quarter first half turn it's kind of a mild throttle um, once you get up to like three quarter and full throttle they're all the same all the riding modes are the same so if you decide that like even in this mode if you get on it and you crank up the throttle the bike is going to take off people oh that's a gas can i want it um i'll we'll leave it alone um but yeah if you get on it it's going to get on it even in this power mode but when you're you know putting around like i'm doing right now i'm not even at a quarter throttle it's a nice easy throttle and that's what i like about my user one setup user two um it seems like the power is in the second or the yeah the second most power um the engine braking i don't know i can't even really tell what the end it doesn't feel like it's a lot of engine braking so i think that i'm in the second most engine braking most of the time and right now i'm in the third the traction control defaulted to um, five and i'm just noticing abs is off in this user mode too i'm gonna have to um put my abs on i don't like that now tour mode tour mode gives you the most power um, the engine braking is set at two it seems uh, maybe i can figure that and then the traction control is set at um five and um and again i could change that but like like i started i was in urban 
and I kind of like urban. Urban gives me a little bit of zip, especially if I'm out here on the open road. Um, second thing I like the most about this bike is the, the power modes. And you can shift the power modes on the fly. If you don't understand them, then you just get on the bike and ride. It's probably going to be in tour. And even if it isn't, it's really not that big a deal, people. But I love to have the flexibility. Um, I like it. It's almost like I got multiple bikes in one. Um, oh, look at that road. Could we have gotten around that gate? About to come check that out one night at nighttime. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> the third thing I like the most about the Africa Twin, and this is actually in some ways kind of the more prominent thing. The thing that everybody notices about this bike. It's a big, tall bike. And I like, you, you guys know I like tall bikes because I like to sit up and see over the traffic. Um, kind of like you're up on a 10 speed. Um, I like that commanding presence that the Africa Twin gives you. And it really does have a presence on the street. And people notice the bike. Um, I'm not one of them people, I'm not letting loud pipes save lives and now they didn't see me. You know, I mean, I assume nobody sees me on a motorcycle because I don't see motorcycles when I'm driving in the car. Um, and I don't see Harley, so I wouldn't expect anybody to see this Africa Twin. But it is a 500 pound bike. It is a tall bike. I want to say 55 inches or something along them lines. So, you know, with, with that, I mean, with the windshield, it's at least six feet tall. I mean, I mean, excuse me, five feet tall. It's at least a five foot tall bike. So, um, it has a nice presence. Look at this. Look at this little road here. This is nice. A lot of traffic out, but you know, it's Sunday. It's Sunday afternoon. Um, we out for a Sunday ride. Yeah, I like the size of the bike. Um, I love the way it feels when I stand. I'm standing right now. See here, this feels good. I like the way um, the size of the tank between my knees at the moment. I like the way it handles. Um, the grips feel pretty good. Even when I'm standing, I'm 5'10". Uh, what is that, 178, 179 centimeters for you um, European folks, or the rest of the world, I should say. Um, so it feels good standing, feels good sitting. I keep the seat at the highest setting. It's a nice commanding presence. There's enough bike in front of you to get some of the air off of you, but you're going to feel it. Like I feel it all around on the, on the edges and stuff. And it feels good. Number three. This is an interest one. If I had some curves, that would be a good time to talk about it. I should have talked about, oh man, I don't. I think I'm running out of road for that matter. Okay, number three. I love the 21 inch front tire and the 18 inch rear. I like the size of the tires. Let me tell you, I didn't even think I was going to like this aspect of it. Now, you know, I'd rode 21 inch fronts on dirt bikes off road before. And, you know, there's a video or two floating around out there where you could see some of that. But what I didn't realize is that I was going to like riding this Africa Twin, which I was concerned about the size of the bike. I was concerned about the weight of the bike. Um, but again, once you're moving, you don't feel the 500 pounds. Once you're up on the bike, you don't feel how tall it is. The most awkward time on an Africa Twin is like right now when you're stopped at a stoplight. And you might, I don't know if you could tell, but I do kind of have the bike slightly leaned over because I'm a one foot, 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 one foot down dude anyway. So I have my left foot down. The bike slid over a little bit. I mean, I can flat foot it standing up with one foot definitely. And I can put my, um, what you call it, not my heels, but my balls of my feet. Both of the balls of my feet are easily on and I can still stand up and have a little wiggle on the bike. But I normally don't put my right foot down. So that's not that big a deal to me. Um, tall bike, 21 inch front, 18 inch rear, about 10 inches of ground clearance. You can stand up, you're nice and tall on the bike. Sitting down, you're still up high, you can kind of see, see around. You can see across the landscape. And that is a wonderful trait to have in a motorcycle. So, you know, let's, let's say, what did we done talk? We done talked about the engine. We done talked about the user, the rider modes. Um, and then we done talked about, you know, just the... Uh, the size of the bike. The fourth thing that I love about the Africa Twin, and this is an interesting one because it definitely could be debated. I'm a Honda fanboy. It's a Honda. I, I, it gives you a certain level of trust and confidence in the reliability of the bike. Um, 
the maintenance is pretty straightforward um, I know there is a dealer network out there even though you guys know I don't really take my bikes to the dealers but but um it's a Honda and I like that and it's not that I'm not going to get some other bikes because I got my eye on a uh, fat boy and I got my eye on a Husqvarna um, smart pillin the 701 and a couple other bikes but you know all in all in my life hopefully I'll own like 30 bikes and 20 of them will be Hondas as you know you know cinnamon was a CB 500 X this um, Africa Twin Tornado 1100 um, I will not be surprised if before it's all these little gated communities along this road that's about the fourth or fifth one um, but yeah so but what I was gonna say I just got off track just screw it anyway the 21 inch 21 inch front wheel gives the bike a very stable feel so yeah this is a tall bike it is a heavy bike but that 21 inch wheel once it gets going the inertia it really helps the bike to handle nicely in the curves in the corners you can it's still flickable i mean i can lay it down if i want to i should weave through these cones just to kind of demonstrate uh, am i going to do that yeah let's do it you know i can weave through the cones if i want to but um the 21 inch wheels is very stable it's a very st it gives you a very stable ride and i like that the fifth thing that i like the most about this bike and then i'm going to probably just go ahead and try to cut this so i can keep the video somewhat short my fifth favorite thing about this motorcycle you ready so this bike has an engine that just tractors in every gear you know you know you see people oh, I don't know what gear I am I don't get in the right gear I had to shift it up again gear down a gear look I'm in second gear fifth gear fourth gear third gear second gear fuck it first gear I'm in first gear and I'm going 40 and I got more to go I could probably get it up to 50 in first gear here we are 40 miles per hour in sixth gear do you see this everybody can't do that so you know since most of the time when I'm riding I'm going about 30 to 40 miles per gallon. Let me see, not 30 to 40 miles per gallon. 30 to 40 miles per hour. The fact that my bike can basically run 40 miles per hour in any gear, I like that. I like it a lot. It tractors in like every gear. And that goes back to that parallel twin. It goes back to, you know, it is a Honda. All of that stuff factors in and I really love it. I like to keep it up in the higher gears because that gives me the better gas mileage and y'all know I'm a cheapo. Um, I gotta make these payments on this bike because I did not pay cash and I gotta, you know, make these insurance payments. And Mrs. Rocket, she didn't even know how much the insurance increased. Oops, damn it, she's going to see this. Um, but you know, I'll figure it out. If you really want something to happen, you figure out a way to make it happen. If you really want something, you need to get it, figure out how you're going to get it. That's my motto. I work too hard and make too much damn money to be sitting around cheating myself out of fun stuff. Um, I think I can go in here. Let's go in here. Is that gravel? It is. Woohoo! I'm on the gravel. Let's go on the dirt. Ooh, I'm in the grass. Woohoo! Okay, stop playing. Um, I don't know where this goes. I've never been over here before. Oh, that's like an office. I don't want to go there. Let's go down this way. 
So yeah, those are the top five things. Top five things that I liked about the Africa Twin. You got a little bit of a, I don't know, where's this going? Community garden plots. Ah, oh, but it's gravel. So we're gonna ride it. Um, I'm still in urban mode. Let's go to gravel mode. We're in third gear here. Let's drop it down to gear. Actually, I think I would prefer to be in third because that kind of smooths out the engine a bit. But I, for the moment, I just want to ride on the gravel. I did not notice gravel was here. I will be visiting this little garden plot like every day from now on. Oh, look, there's people out here gardening. I don't want to disturb them. We'll just do a little ride by. But y'all got to see the Africa Twin on some gravel. Got to wave to the people since you're around here riding the bike, disturbing them in the middle of their gardening. Over here in gorgeous Prince George's. Oh, I don't like turning to the right. This is nice. Hope y'all see this. Uh. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell you the best part about this was that we got to ride on some gravel. And I'm gonna come back and ride on this all the time. Let's see, here's some more gravel. Uh, let's see, let's say no entrance, it says no hunting. Can I ride through here? Well, if I can, I'll just turn around and leave. I don't know. Didn't say no trespassing. They got trailers here. Those look like bike trailers. They don't look like horse trailers. Oh, I know exactly where I'm at. I'm going through here. Oh, you can't. Well, you could, but I'm not going to do all of that. You all are getting some good clips here. I know exactly where I'm at. Can't go through there. Okay. Thought I could cut through, but it didn't work that way. A little bit of off-road. Ha ha. Um, I think that's the road where the thing was cut off no is it I can't tell is this the way I came from I think it might be let's see <sighs> actually this isn't where I came from but I think I know where I'm at anyway it is where I came from oh yeah I didn't go down this way Let's go down this way and see where this goes. More garden and plots. More gravel. What do we have here? So I um, guess I give you a, a bonus, a sixth thing I love about the Africa Twin. I know exactly where I'm at now. Yeah, we've been here before. Okay, now I know where this goes. Cool. So, um, yeah, that was great. Now I know where that goes. That's cool. I didn't know we could go through there. Now I know. Um, the sixth thing I love about the Africa Twin is just that. You don't have to look at a road and say, oh, I don't want to take my bike down there. Uh, see, I thought I was going to come out right here. This is where I thought it was going to come out at. So let's go over here real... Oh, it doesn't really go through. Now I get it. Okay. Let me back over. Let me take some pictures today. But, um... Yeah, it doesn't really... You don't have to, you don't have to pass up roads. You can take the highway. You could take the 
the small windy road you can take the city you can go in the city it's not like you're sitting on some big air-cooled um, v-twin that's going to overheat sitting in traffic you can take the dirt you can take the gravel i mean not with these tires but on some other you know africa twins you could even do the mud it's hard you know big bikes in the mud is not fun i, I can promise you that i've been there but you can do it Ooh. Are those logs? Can I like run those logs one day? Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm feeling real hooliganish. I was watching the um, video. I'm not gonna call out the vlogger or talk, you know, just, he was just in straight hooligan mode this morning. I don't know what the hell was going on. I think he made that video a couple of days ago, but he was just straight hooligan mode. Do, 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 do. All right, I think we're gonna park and wrap this video up but yeah number six bonus you don't have to pass up a road when you're riding on an Africa twin and you know let's stand up again it feels good standing up on an Africa twin we're in third gear I should have been in second oh look everybody is out you gotta love it you got to love it you have to love it you have to love it. It's not even optional. You just have to love it. What's that sign say? $50 fine if cited for what? For what? For what? Leash law. Okay. Well, my tornado. I'm not on the leash with tornado. I'm not wearing my air vest. So is it tornado's not on a leash or I'm not on a leash? Look, they're having a party. They're having a party. Party people. See, I told you it was a beautiful Sunday, beautiful weekend. We're not quite post pandemic yet, but most of the folks are starting to get their um, vaccinations. A lot of these folks out here, you know, we done got our vaccinations. We good. Um, well, we're not good, good, but we better than we were before. Um, So we're going to go over here. I, I'll probably stop the video somewhere right about this point. But I'm going to go over here and park. Make another video on another topic. And um, hopefully this comes out. Because I don't want to have to try to remember my five plus a bonus favorite things again. I want to be able to just roll with this video. Let's see. Can we park over here in the shade? Okay, rocket rolls over and out. Just stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first.